Hello, welcome. I'm another Magento dev. In this video, I just want to dig into zero downtime deploys a bit more. So I, I posted a video a couple of weeks ago of summarizing this sort of um, evolution to zero downtime that you could, you know, that you might go through from standard FTP deploys to an automated deploy script type of deploy, but with downtime. And then I touched on um, sort of the best way, which is obviously zero downtime. Now, um, it, although it does, I mean, in most circumstances, the effect of it is is that there's no downtime. Um, in certain circumstances, obviously, there is going to be downtime, unavoidable uh, to an extent with the way that, by default anyway, with the way that setup upgrade has to be run on the database. Um, I was speaking to a colleague of mine, um, Matt Luby, Pinpoint was a you know is a is a is a very experienced Magento developer and we're sort of comparing notes on our on our zero downtime setups. It got me thinking like, would I be able to run the commands in a different order on a on a on a web server in order to get a better understanding on a how they work, b sort of are we running these commands safely, and c what's the best result that we can get from running different combinations of the commands. I've been testing that today on a development environment now. If we just jump in uh, to the code, so here is a portion of my screen uh, that I'm sharing, obviously for you know security security reasons, um, and I just want to sort of touch on this is this is my deploy setup within um, deploy, but I'm not going to show you the rest of the rest of the screen, but you get an idea. Essentially, <clears throat> the bit at the top here, this is specific for zero downtime, by the way. Uh, essentially, the bit at the top here is. Uh, sim link in the relevant folders, but then we get into the actual um, the actual deployment code. Now, the way this works is these commands here, these commands are running there. So run when a new dev uh, version is uploaded, and these commands are essentially running in um, the releases folder of the latest release. So you can see that there, you it's running in um, sort of like the, the latest folder. So this is these commands are running it before the um, before the before the instance or the container or the releases folder, whatever you want to call it. People have different terminology. Um, goes live, and what I mean by go live is before the sim link of the current folder. Um, so this folder here. Uh, changes you can see that sim linked and that sim linked over if I click on that it's sim linked over to that release there um, which is within obviously a different um, which is within the the releases folders so what we end up with are the static content commands running first so ie um, like running within their own folder and then the, the the next issue I came across was in the last video is I was running um, setup upgrade about here could call could throw an error error up on the front end and I've never considered this before and one of the main reasons I'd never considered it before was because of another reason uh, another sort of bug or, or, or work or thing that I had to work around which was the actual PHP cache the OP cache on the server was keeping everything in place while this was running so I was never noticing any issues, but it wasn't until Matt brought it up that it may cause issues. And and he's right, you shouldn't be running setup upgrade um on a on a on a live database with users on the site. Like it, it just doesn't make sense. It's potentially dangerous. I'm not sure what the dangers are, but th there's no doubt some danger in, in doing that. That's why the obvious way to run those commands or the preferred way to run setup upgrade on a live production environment is behind a maintenance page. Um but the problem was because of the OP cache um, the maintenance page was never being displayed for me, even if I'd run it with maintenance in the releases folder. Because of the PHP cache, it wasn't detecting that the folders had changed, and it was just it was something I completely overlooked. However, this new setup that I've got here is the way to go, I believe. So in this, this obviously most most configs are going to be the same. So these are the folders do not you know ask are basically exclude uh, from being uploaded, and then here we go. We're coming to the actual 
post deployment commands and now this is where I'm going to start running setup upgrade so rather than running it first so rather than running it sort of here as I was as a normal sort of just replicating a normal static content deploy which I was running here which is fine it, it actually works um, but and it was working it, you know it, it's just it, it wasn't optimal for me and and it although it felt like zero downtime and, and there was no downtime on the front end I tested it I'm not confident that it, it's it's the right way going forward I'd rather I'd rather not take the risk uh, on upgrading the database if it's necessary you know not basically not putting up a maintenance page so what I'm what I'm doing here um, and it's what Matt recommended is I'm checking the status of the date of the database so after after everything's been deployed all the static content's been deployed it's not upgraded the database it switches the folders round so the new version of the site is seeing the new static content i.e. it switched the references in the current over to um, over to the sort of public directory the, the front facing directory um, and then what it's going to do is it, in behind the scenes it's going to check f whether the database needs upgrading right if it doesn't which a lot of times, you know, if you're just making small changes, there's no need to run setup upgrade. Um, the database schema and, and what have you hasn't changed. If it doesn't, it continues being a, you know, it finishes off by being a zero downtime deploy. There is no downtime, which is brilliant. So a, a large percentage of your deployments are going to be zero downtime. Um, if it does detect that, you know, if it basically here, if I get an exit code of anything uh, other than. Um, no upgrade required so if it says like needs a schema up updating or, or what have you then it, it's it, it's going to run well first of all it's going to put the site in maintenance it's going to run setup upgrade and this is the key thing here it's going to run it with keep generated flag now keep generated flag stops setup upgrade from clearing your static content because obviously if you run this after effectively running static content this is then going to clear it again and you'd have to rebuild it again and and that's what really takes up all the time that's what takes up the majority of the time is running di compile and static content um, I've timed this on this one and setup upgrade takes about 90 seconds so you're getting about a minute a minute and a half worth of downtime here in terms of behind a, a wall uh, behind the the maintenance page it's running setup upgrade as I say keep generated is key and then a flush cache and make sure and force enable them at the end um, just to make sure that, that they all come back and and that works um, now there is an extra thing that I've I've put in here which for me is a bit of a hack on my server um, majority of servers you can only run um, your cache uh, your PHP cache you can only restart it or reload it or flush it from root user now you don't want to be deploying via the root user um, and you also I don't I wouldn't recommend switching users clearing the cache and switching back um, I've found problems with that it doesn't always work um, and and rather than debug that I created a simple OP cache flush script if you google it um, flushing PHP OP cache it's like one one little snippet of code pop it in a in a file and then I'm running it by the way, it only works if you access it by a front end URL, so you can't run it on command line. Um, that flushes the, the the cache first. So what that does for me in this situation is it lets the maintenance page be visible. Now I'm gonna do some further studying on this, I'm gonna do some further testing on this. Um whether it's whether it's worthwhile keeping the OP cache in place, still enabling maintenance for you know, just for sort of protocol, but I would want to in this environment this staging environment where I'm testing it here I want to see the maintenance page I want to be able to read when I see these commands running in deploy bot I want to test it on the front end and make sure nothing goes awry before I try this on a on a production environment um, and essentially what this does is I've tested it is when it's running uh, once I see these commands start to run so basically once it's switched the OP cache flushes I'm able to then see the the new current directory which is great which essentially then um, if it's required if there's a schema update it then goes into maintenance mode so I'm, I'm confirming visually that it's working and um, as I say whether I can get rid of that in the future I'll, I'll, I'll let you know basically with another with another post but then running it keep generated keeps all the static content 
disabling the disabling the maintenance site comes back quickly flushing the cache quickly enabling caches everything's back to normal and as i say so in terms of zero downtime it's not strictly zero downtime in majority of 100 uh, percent of the time because there are going to be schema upgrades sometimes um but it's, it's zero downtime the majority of the time and it's a hell of a lot better than manual deploys and also um, your standard deploy via say a, a deployment system via deploybot where the, there is no switching of folders and you just basically put it in maintenance mode and you run all of these commands which takes minutes m many more minutes i've had them take about 20 minutes before which is is ridiculous so this is although it's not strictly zero downtime all of the time it's a hell of an improvement so um, as always, you know, people have been commenting, which is great. So any feedback on, on this type of stuff, it, you know, from the community is, is, is invaluable. We'll all help each other. Um, and um, yeah, stay safe.